joining us. Another car crash takes a life this week. That's right, a Hastings College Hall of Famer, John Osborne. Uh, Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Katrina Spurl joins us now with more on tonight's top story. Katrina. That's right, Rod and Megan. We all know Tom Osborne, but his younger brother Jack also made a difference in Nebraska. Member of the Board of Trustees, Honorary Trustee, Athletic Hall of Famer. These are just a few titles John Osborne had in the Hastings community. A couple of weeks ago, I had spent the better part of a morning with, with Jack and, and Justin, and so it feels like, you know, certainly lost a very valuable friend and, and mentor. According to the Adams County Sheriff's Office, 78-year-old John Osborne, who you see here, collided with a vehicle on Highway 6 near Hastings on Sunday. Osborne was killed in the crash. Officials say he failed to yield at a stop sign. No one else was seriously injured. Osborne was the younger brother of legendary Nebraska football coach Tom Osborne. Jack was a well-known businessman in Hastings and had ties to the college there. It's very sad hearts that we, we hear of Jack's passing. In 1999, the Osbournes led the effort in building a football field. Here's an interview from that year. And I think uh, the college uh, offers uh, uh, the student just about anything that they would want in the way of academics and athletics. College officials said this project started a new era of expansion. We had the Morrison Reeves Science Center and then of course the Jackson Dinsdale Arts Center. Um, but really brought the college into sort of the, the next century, if you will, in terms of facilities. And probably more importantly, this particular facility has been used as a model for many, many small colleges. Gary Freeman said Jack and the family had scholarships in which they funded, and they recently spoke about carrying them out in the future. And we'll never forget the legacy that he and the family has continued to provide for our, for our wonderful institution. Officials at Hastings College sent a message out to the campus today about Osborne's passing. Coach Scott Frost also started his press conference today by expressing condolences to the Osborne family. Yep, a big loss. All right, Katrina, thank you.